I'd like to talk about my youngest uh, son, Jacob, for a minute. We uh, sometimes uh, we'll go to bed of a night late, and at about one o'clock or quarter past one in the morning, we hear this. And um, our ha house is broken up into parts. So he's not in the drum room, he's actually he's in the TV room and he's, he's, he's on what, one of those um, rubber drum kits and he's just practicing repetition. So, and he'll do that for an hour before he goes to bed because what he's trying to do is tune all the muscles in his body to be able to do that for extended periods of time. So it becomes a natural thing for him. So practice and consistency and repetition elevates the quality of what you do. So when I talk about him sitting up in the morning and going uh, and setting up the uh, setting up the breakfast dishes for himself late at night, so in the morning he's not wasting the extra ten minutes and he saves ten minutes. He's practicing that, and in a in a very very short period of time, he's become I wouldn't say elite, but he's gone from good average to very 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 good, and that's in a short period of time. And it's the old adage: what you concentrate on grows. So remembering too that if you want to learn a particular art, there might be many things around that art that you need to control. And i.e. what Jacob has learnt, he's learnt that if he wants to become a proficient drummer, saving 10 minutes in the morning is important to him. If he wants to become a proficient drummer, getting home of a night and eating something very quickly and getting stuck straight into practice, etc., is important to him. He won't sit down and watch TV for half an hour. He gets in, he has something to eat. He, he normally does it quietly or he converses with his mother or I, and then he goes about his, his duties for the night. So therefore, then he comes back down for dinner, etc. So therefore, his time utilization techniques are paramount. And what I learn by that is I learn that successful people, no matter what it is, A, understand the satisfaction of being like that, and B, they understand that because they're results driven, they need time utilization to be at its maximum. Why is Jacob like that? He was like that when he was 14, playing soccer and yeah. drums. You know, uh, well, if it's for you, where's it coming well, from? We, we laugh about that because you have, we all, always say, because him and I are a bit OCD orientated, that that's, that may have an effect on it, and it might. But I, what happens is, is that the there is an innate satisfaction that you get from doing something really well. And it's not ego driven. There's just a point where you go, I feel really good that I've actually achieved that. And it's one of those things that I am worthy. It's good to pat yourself on the back once in a while and go, gee, I'm doing a really good job at that. And I think for people like him and I, that there's a, there is a level of satisfaction of achievement to say, gee, I'm doing better than I ever thought I could do. I'm doing more than I ever thought I could do. I'm living better than I ever thought I could live. And that's due to my effort. And there's a satisfaction in that. And he, he is of that ilk. Even academically, he's doing so much better this year than last year because his attitude is now very focused on result, right? So from that point of view, I think it's this, John. I think that when you see the goal, or what I call the end game. And as much as I think that striving is part of that journey of happiness, you know, trying to get to that goal, if you can actually visualize this, and that's what I was talking about before, right? Um, if you can actually visualize the end game or the goal, it makes it a lot easier. So therefore, what he's doing now, when he saves the 10 minutes, or when he gets up early, and he might be a little bit tired from the night before. And I will say, I find successful people sleep less. And he's one of them. For a young man, he doesn't sleep a lot like a lot of his friends, right? Because he's driven. And when I say to him, are you tired? He goes, no, dad, I'm happy. That's the answer I get back from him. So therefore, because this, as you and I have spoken about before, striving for your goal, for people like us and him, makes us this, makes us happy. It makes us happy. We smile, you know? So from that point of view, look at what we did today. We spent an hour in prep on all these videos today covering all these different topics just to see. But we had a great conversation, three of us, laughing, joking, having a coffee, having a water, doing whatever, and then integrating all the other things that are happening in our lives in some of these discussions and seeing how they play out, right? That All that prep and that and that 
you know, and the goal is to do these videos now. Like even prior to that, we were happy before we started this off. It was a good way to start today. So from that point of view, that's what I think with Jacob is that he sees the goal in the end game. And then the other thing with this is he has this belief. I am worthy. And I don't think there's any other, there's not a greater gift from God that you can get to feel that.